welcome to my pack with me for my Whistler ski trip. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is quite exciting for me because I am going on my first winter ski trip in my life. I know, I know, hold the gasp of air. Throughout my entire life, my family has only been on warm vacations and never a cold one. So this will be my first one and we'll be doing an activity, which is skiing with my boyfriend. So I'm going to vlog that experience and we're gonna take some beautiful photos and I cannot wait to experience winter up there. I just wanted to quickly share that I was a complete dumb when I was packing today. Um, I picked up my razor by the razor head. I know. So here I thought I was just gonna get a little cut, but I literally just like shaved off a layer of my skin and it would not stop bleeding. So now I have this beautiful accessory for this video. Um, I'm sorry in the vlog footage of me showing what I packed, you're just gonna see me pointing with my pointer, Peter pointer finger <laughs> with this piece of gauze and tape on it. So I apologize in advance. Obviously that was not planned. I don't wanna make this video too long, but I just wanted to quickly say that I've seen a few different styles of people recording these types of videos and I wanted to do more of like a casual vlog style. Just me walking around my bedroom with my camera, sharing with you guys what I'm packing. I just wanted to mention that I didn't go into detail of like the makeup I'm packing, the toiletries, my carry-on bag, um, and my little purse, none of that. I'm just, solely focusing on like the winter clothing pieces and um, equipment for the hill and the big giant bag that is right behind me um, that I will be taking as my checked in piece of luggage. So that's what I want to go over in this video. Otherwise we'd be here for like an hour long of me going through everything that I'm packing. So I just thought I should hit the important points. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to my channel, the thumbs up button and the notification bell to be notified every time I record a new video and it is up on YouTube. It helps me a lot and it keeps you guys up to date with what's going on in my life and on my channel. Without further ado, let's get on into some of the details of the pieces of luggage I'm bringing on this trip. So we are flying out of Pearson Airport and we are going to Whistler. So the piece of the luggage that I have sitting here behind me is a Eddie Bauer Expedition 34 bag. And yes, I had to turn around to look at it because it's written on the handle. Uh, I actually purchased this bag while I was away at school. Um, it was a really good coming home bag for like Christmas holidays and stuff because I'm an overpacker. This title of the video should just be called watch me overpack for an hour. <laughs> this was a really, really great piece of luggage for that because it has good compartments and it's really big and has wheels and it's blackish gray camo, super sick. So I thought this would be a better bet than a like hard square luggage for this kind of trip. So we are renting our ski poles and skis and we are bringing our ski boots. This is a more expensive piece of luggage. I will see if I can link it down below. This was like last year's model, so I'm not sure if they'll still have it, but I'll try to find something similar. Um, I actually had one previous to this that was navy blue and it broke and that's what made me um, purchase this one, but I love it. So this is the one I'm going to take on vacation with me. Now I have something called packing cubes. I got these off Amazon on. I'll link them down below. Um, these are amazing, but at the same time, they kind of trick you because you end up overpacking so much. Like this big square can hold like 15 pounds and it's so deceiving because you like put it in, you're like, why is my luggage so heavy? And then you weigh like just this piece and you're like, holy okay, it's my packing cube full of scarves. I don't know if I'm going to use this yet. We will see, but I have it laid out. For my personal belonging for the plane. I'm just gonna bring my Herschel backpack. I like to travel with backpacks when I'm on a plane. It's just easiest. Purses are nice, but they're not functional and they just give my shoulder a really bad like cramp and sore. So I'd rather have something that's two strapped, um, has a laptop slot in the back. Could not think of the word. And a couple compartments for like, you know, my sunglasses, which I will be bringing some up. So um, this will be holding either um, my laptop, a book, some little things um, and the camera equipment. We are only bringing a camera lens and then we are bringing the mic and we're bringing the vlog camera and the batteries and all that. So I don't know if we're gonna put that in mine or in Kieran's, we will see. And as for my little purse that I'm gonna use when I'm in Whistler, I'm actually just going to use my little Lululemon fanny pack in black. Um, it's really sporty, nothing crazy. 
nothing really gorgeous. It's just really functional and I can wear it like obviously, well, I'd have to loosen the strap, but I could wear it like this across my body. I could wear it over here or I could wear it on my waist. Um, honestly, I really wanted to bring a nice going out bag, but just not realistic for this trip. So I am going to bring something practical. Now I want to thank my mom real quick to help me pack because I told her to look at my bed and I said, okay, what do you think I should take out? And she like pointed out a bunch of things. And it's so funny cause I'll like take something out but then I replace it with something else. And my mom's like, no, that's not how it works, Clarissa. When you're trying to take out weight from the bag, you don't add more back in. I like took out a sweater and then I put in a blanket scarf, like logic, yes. All right, this intro is long enough as it is. Let's get on into showing you guys what else I'm bringing. So as you can see, I have my stuff sprawled just about everywhere across the room. I have it on my dresser have it on my bed and then I have little bits and pieces in my bathroom and then obviously the floor and then I have my lighting kind of set up in each corner of the room to help me illuminate this bedroom a little bit but let's get started with what's on my bed it's a little bit difficult for me to hold the camera far enough back without falling onto my dresser so this is the best I'm gonna get here let's start with this corner and we'll work our way that way so I brought a nice fuzzy bathrobe um, we have like a jacuzzi hot tub thing in our hotel so you know running down in a bathing suit not ideal I mean I would do it if I have to but I'd rather bring a robe and it's super soft so good for winter I have two different like cute hats one that says corona it's navy blue and then I have a brandy Melville cranberry one and then I brought some casual mittens these are from Aritzia for when I'm not on the slopes and it's cold and I just want to have warm hands obviously so these are like going to be my go-to I just bring around the village I have two different pairs of ski socks these are the ones I currently ski with and these will just be backups because I don't really want to wear the same ones for four days straight I got a couple different colored bandanas to go with my whole ski aesthetic I just can't take myself seriously with this stupid finger like <laughs> so I got a teal one then I got this like cool design purpley one um, to wear over my Bella Clava which speaking of those are right here I have two um, one and then I'll have a backup I have some toe and hand warmers because I do think I will need those maybe not all the days we're skiing but I just thought I should bring a few to be on the safe side my combi ski gloves these are pretty great um the design is kind of like meh but they keep my hands warm and they have this like little zipper pocket too and you can like clip them together so they don't get lost and stuff keep everything together so i'm actually not bringing a backup of gloves so let's just pray for me that nothing happens to these ones in transportation or while i'm in whistler then moving on to pants what i wear underneath my snow pants i like to usually wear a legging so these are the lululemon super high rise aligned pant and then i have my alphalete camo joggers and then i'm currently wearing my other black premium alphalete joggers and i think i'll wear these on the plane too so i have an extra backup this is what's most comfortable for me under my snow pants i mean People wear different things. People wear jeans, you know, but that's just not my thing. Moving on to sports bras. I have one high support impact bra and then a medium support. To be honest, even though I'm a chestier girl, I prefer medium support sports bras because I don't feel as restricted, but I still do feel held in as opposed to light support literally does nothing for me so this will be my go-to but if you know i get sweaty and gross then i'll be switching over to this one for the last day or so moving on to the long sleeves i'll be wearing underneath i just have my long sleeve from my college that i went to and then i have my high school one uh these are just like the best i find for what i like comfort wise and warmth wise when i'm skiing these should technically be in my ski boots right now but these are my super feet i've just been too lazy to put those in my boots moving on to the little random things that actually won't be quite packed away um, i just purchased this neck pillow off amazon and i purchased one for kieran as well in navy blue so it'll be the first trip i'll finally get to test that out and it actually came with a little like eye mask and some earbuds i don't know how useful that will be but bringing them just in case and the most exciting piece i'm excited about is this piece from base it's Shay Mitchell's line this is like a I don't know what to call it this is like a pocket compact organizer type thing that you put on the seat in front of you like in that flap right in front of you you know where they have like barf bags <laughs> sorry and like little like magazine things you'd put that in there and then I think you put chapstick and like 
your passport or whatever else you need easy access to. I always find that I have to reach up in the compartment above me to grab things. And when you're not on the aisle, like on the end, that's so annoying during a flight. So this will be perfect. I can store my necessities right in front of me and it won't be in the way. It'll be nice and compact. So I'm really excited to finally get to use this. It's been sitting in a package for like four months. Then moving along to sweaters, I like to usually wear like a hoodie on the hill. So this is just a black Millennium Dance one. Um, that's usually what I wear, but I'm bringing an extra. I know I'm kind of playing it safe and I'm taking up extra room in my luggage with this, but I think I might wear my Alphalete Zip one on the plane just because it's super, super soft. Um, so it'll get quite hot. I feel like maybe I don't want to wear that one skiing. That'll be more of my chilling chillax and sweater. Like I mentioned, we have that jacuzzi hot tub thing. So I have a one piece bathing suit and then I have a two piece. The top is from Victoria's Secret from like literally forever ago, like five to eight years ago. And then this 437 swimwear bottom. Um, it's a little cheeky. So I brought other ones too on top of that one piece there to cover the bum cheeks. You know, if there's a lot of families around and such. I obviously have a bunch of sports socks. I have a pair of fuzzy socks and I have a pair of like roots cuter socks one bra because I'll be wearing these for the most part and then my Calvin Klein one which is like literally no support at all but just something to put on underneath the t-shirt. Then I brought a workout set just my Gymshark sports bra leggings and a Lululemon Razorback white top um, tank. I'm not planning on working out doing like a full deadlift or squat day or anything like that. If there's room for some type of like hit workout or something, I may squeeze that in there. So I just thought it'd be better safe than sorry. So I just brought that. And you never know if there's like a flight delay or anything of that sort, you know, I have a workout outfit now. In this bag, I brought like my workout items. So I brought a empty water bottle just to be able to refill when we're like in our hotel room. And then in this little lemon bag is a long resistance band, a couple small glute resistance bands, a lock just in case we need that for locking things up. And then I also brought a lacrosse ball to roll out at the end of the night or even before getting on the hill. Um, it just helps kind of get those kinks out of your body and it makes me feel so much better. So cannot travel without that. Working our way up here, I have my shower cap and I have a Lululemon headband. And then I have, these are like my going out clothes. I know it's gonna be like the smallest little section ever, but I have just a gray turtleneck from Topshop and then this like big sweater dress that's like a purpley mauve color from Honeybum. And I actually have a couple pairs of like high knee socks that I thought would look really cute with it. And then I have a pair of black jeans and a pair of Zara pants underneath. And then I have a blanket scarf. Moving on to footwear, I have a pair of flops for when I, you know, wanna go down and use that hot tub or jacuzzi. A pair of sneakers, because I already mentioned the whole gym situation. In this bag, I also have a pair of slippers to wear in the hotel room. I hate walking around in shoes in my hotel room and I hate walking barefoot. So this is like my perfect happy medium. I know this might be weird, but you can see like all my shoes are on plastic bags. Um, I don't want my room to get dirty. As you can see, there's some dirt already there. Uh, so they're all just hanging out on plastic bags. This one's on a garbage bag because these boots are bigger. These are the ski boots I am bringing. They are Rosignol ski boots. These are actually brand new. I've only worn them once, so they're not fully broken in yet, but they are pretty damn comfortable. And look at this little fuzzies. Cute, cute. Moving on to my actual ski wear, I have my ski coat, which is the brand Solomon. And then I have some ski pants, which are nice bright coral. I forget this brand. Oh, these are carbon. These are carbon. Um, super cute. I'm in love with these pants. I'm kind of looking for a new ski jacket, so. Might pick one up in Whistler and leave this one there. In this bag, I have my ski helmet and my ski goggles. Thought I would give you a little bit of a sneak peek. This is the helmet I have. I actually really, really like this helmet. It has owls on it and it has gray accents and it's just white, again, with the fuzzies inside. And then my goggles are these yellow rimmed, like greenish blue reflective ones. These are from Ross and Y'all. Moving on to some miscellaneous items. Haven't really decided where this is going yet. I think it's gonna go in my backpack. If not, it'll be going in my boyfriend's backpack. But I have the GoPro equipment, which I have yet to go through. So gotta get that on my list because we leave very soon. And then I have my vlogging camera, 
my little mono Frodo vlogging um, tripod. One lens, the other one I'm obviously currently filming on right now. And then I have the lens cap for that. Extra batteries, the adapter, two TSA free, I think that's what they're called, um, locks for our, our luggages. So Kieran will be using one, I'll be using the other. The cute socks I was talking about earlier for my going out outfits. This weighing device that I literally preach to the gods that you have to get, it's like a must, especially if you're an overpacker, it just, will save you so much time, hassle, and money at the airport if you just invest one of these. They're like so cheap on Amazon, pick one up. I don't know whose dog this is, but this is a picture of a dog. And on the other side, it has all my information in case my luggage were to get lost. So I just have that flipped over for now. And I don't mean to be morbid or like a negative person, but I wanna be prepared. So I brought a knee brace and I also brought an ankle brace just in case Something happens just in case, knock on wood, nothing does, but I thought that I would bring this as a safety precaution. Well, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I cannot wait to share the content that we get out there. Um, it will be something to really look forward to. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out.